Hey guys, so today I'm doing a video to just show how to use the EXP header to get serial access. Say for example you have a single board computer and in this case it's the Pineadio, but you can also use the Pine64 LTS which is the underlying uh, single board computer inside the Pineadio. So this can work for either. So if you have a single board computer you want to and generally just about every single board computer this applies in one way or another you may have to set it up otherwise in the operating system but first you would hook up to these particular pins what we have here this one here the red one is power so you have to be careful about that uh, you're not going to hook up the power the red one here now the green is transmit the white is receive and the black is ground so as you can see how I have these pins set up on it so it's the second to last row it begins and then you have the green on the left and the white on the right and the black the next row over so as you can see this is the end the ethernet on this side it's the opposite end just for reference and what we're going to do next is the other end is a usb and i'm going to take that i'm going to put that right into my laptop and once i plug that in once we have everything hooked up we have the usb in our laptop or desktop computer we also have our GPIO pins hooked up as I just presented. The next thing you're going to want to do is run DMESG. And what that's going to do is it's going to show you what device it is. And we're going to use Minicom today. So as you can see, the PL2303 converter is hooked up at TTY USB 0. So what that means is we're going to use Minicom and our device is going to be slash dev slash tty usb zero just as we see here then for the baud we're going to do 116 200 and at that point we can hit enter and we can go ahead and hook the power up and you'll see it start to boot and this is going to help you in situations where you're having issues say booting your device you're not sure what's wrong where is the problem and what we're seeing is the kernel actually start up right now the hardware being initialized and this is going to allow us to debug startup problems, boot problems, say you make an upgrade and something happens on your single board computer and you don't know what's going on, you can't get into the system because of the fact that it won't finish booting, but you have this log of it starting up and you're able to then find out where the problem is. As you can see, everything's starting up and this is the Pineadio in this case. So it has the Things Network. It also has Chirp Stack. And I'm gonna be creating a new image for this coming up shortly. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Now, first off, actually, what I'm gonna actually do is tell you about the, some of the settings you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to. So as you can see down here, it says Control AZ for help. You do Control AZ. And then you can see over here you have all the functions you can access from here. Now what you're going to want to do in your case most likely is go to Configure Minicom. So that's a capital O. And at this point we'll go down to the serial port setup. And what you're going to want to ensure is you have hardware flow control no, software flow control no. And all of these settings should match. And once you've done that, you'll have a working accessible serial access for your single board computer. This applies for whatever single board computer model you may be running, but you know, of course the operating system, the hardware itself may differ if you have say a Raspberry Pi in contrast. So this is exactly what you would do in order to have serial access through Minicom on your Pineadio or Pine64 A64 LTS, which is a great single board computer for all kinds of projects, web servers. Uh, you can use it to create so many different applications and different things that you may have interest in if you want to work with IoT. 
So this is a great choice. I find it to be an affordable single board computer with enough power for most jobs. You don't necessarily need top of the line speed single board computers for something like hosting a website or otherwise. And it also has an EMMC slot so you can actually hook up storage, permanent storage on it so you don't have to rely just on SD cards, which SD cards aren't that reliable. I'm logged in, I can do all of the maintenance that I otherwise would do, say if my ethernet card weren't working or if it were having problems booting. Serial access is gonna provide a method of using the single board computer without needing internet or networking access. It's very convenient. You can also go on Pine64's website and get the Serial Console Woodpecker Edition where you can just get some of these connectors and add them to here so you can get the wires, the GPIO pin wires, and then you can hook that up to the actual GPIO pins. So that's another option. I got mine from Adafruit. You can also use Adafruit, whatever's more convenient for you. I know overseas shipping isn't always cheap. Uh, Adafruit's another supplier for those. But generally, that's all you need to do. And once you're ready to get out of it, control A X. Control A X is going to exit out of Minicom and the serial console access. So we'll go ahead and hit enter and we're already out. So at this point, you can disconnect your USB, your GPIO pins if you want. I personally like leaving it hooked up just so I don't have to go and fumble around with the GPIO pins. But that's how you do it, guys. That's how you set up the Pine64 A64 LTS for debugging and other access. Say if you have a hardware issue, a boot problem, an internet issue, serial console access is going to be a big help for you. And I think this video could be helpful to people because I haven't seen a video on doing this. And that's what I have today, guys. Hope you like the video. Make sure to like, comment, share this video everywhere. And I'll be back later with more on Linux and single board computers.